Hi everyone, so I thought I'd do a video quickly on uh, virtual wallets. Now virtual wallets can be great for a, a few different reasons. So someone can log into your website and top up a, their wallet, their, you know, their virtual wallet inside your website and use that currency to check out. Um, and then the other one is for <clears throat> social media giveaways and stuff like that. You can give out site credit where you can top up their account uh, with virtual money that they can use to then enter um, raffles. So to get started in this, we'll go ahead and log into the, the admin section of your website and get, head down to, to plugins and we'll click on add new. Now in here, there's a plugin called Terra Wallet, T-E-R-A Wallet. And then it should be the first one on your list there. So we'll install and then activate that. Then I'll go through the settings with you. So activate. So now that's activated, you'll get this uh, menu on the left hand side called Terra Wallet. We'll go in here and go straight to settings. So you can add your product title. So once if they want to add currency to their account to top it up uh, this title will come up in the checkout uh, next is to add probably just your logo in here so if you click set product image you can go to media library and just find your logo you can add it to you can add whatever picture you want it could be cash it could be you know whatever uh, you can then add your taxable amount if, if you want but i would sort of leave it as taxable and standard uh, that will pick up the settings of your woocommerce platform next is your minimum and maximum top up amount if you want to say right if someone signs up or and they want to top up the amount you get a minimum of 10 pounds and a maximum of 100 pounds uh, you can just leave these at one or zero i would say one and then the maximum is you know a thousand if i can't really think anybody would add a thousand we don't need to add a mini wallet to display location uh, next is the auto deduct wallet balance for partial payment now i would actually leave this off uh, for one reason which is reporting so not to get into the details it just doesn't work very well in terms of uh, recording sales with this as it comes up as a discount rather than just coming off the wallet uh, so best thing to do is, well it obviously does come out of the wallet as well but it just messes up um the report section of the website uh, and best just to keep that off that just means that um users won't be able to like partially pay on card and use the rest of the balance in their wallet um next is allow wallet transfer now i don't think this really applies to anybody in this using the, the competition template but you can transfer uh funds to you know a different user to so say they have two user accounts and they want to merge the funds just a bit complicated to be honest and i think it's best just left off uh cash on delivery now this is that you might have something different here like trust payments that kind of thing so or who whatever payment gateways you're using so this might say trust payments and then you say yes you can allow this to recharge the wallet recharge the wallet is basically the top up function which i'll show you later so we'll save those changes now in the credit options you can give rewards and so yeah so i would say cashback rewards program so you can run a cashback rewards program uh, and in here you can basically give people money back from their payments into site credit so that means someone spends 100 quid maybe they you give them a percentage so yeah percentage of 10 percent back that means that they'll get 10 pounds in site credit back that they can use towards future purchases this can be very good for uh, getting customer retention on that kind of thing uh, minimum card amount to allow this kind of cashback so say you have to spend over 10 pounds to get uh, the cashback uh, and the maximum cashback amount you could say that you know if someone spends a grand maybe you don't want to give 100 quid maybe you do uh, but say you could just cap that as a thousand pounds if you really wanted to uh, payment charge gateway charge customer when they add a balance now I see this is a bit I'm not entirely sure who would use this uh, but I don't know why you would charge a client or a user to top up their wallet Um, it seems a bit just uh, yeah I, I wouldn't do it but again the options there so we'll see if those changes and that's it for setting it up 
um, in terms of this wallet section, but I'm going to show you uh, how to add the top up uh, to your uh, your main menu on your website. I'm actually going to go to the main menu now. All right, I'll zoom out a wee bit here now. You've you've all seen that. So you'll see I've added a, a menu item called My Award. Now, if you click on this, it'll bring you to the basically the My Account section, which is you can go to it from here or here, but then you'll have this My Award section. And I thought it'd be a good idea to to add just My Award to the to the menu. If you want to do that, I'll show you how to do that now. So you go to Menus, or you can go to the dashboard. Top left, uh, and then appearance, and then menus. Now, you can see here I've added a custom link for my wallet. So I think they have one in here now. So, yes, if you go to WooCommerce Endpoints at the bottom, click my wallet and click add to menu. This will then appear at the bottom, and then you can save the menu. Obviously, I've already done that, so I'm not going to add another one in. All you need to do now is save the menu. Come back, we'll just leave that, and you'll see my wallet on the homepage or on the top menu. So that's grand. That means any kind of logged in users can see their wallet. If they want to top up their wallet, all they need to do is click top up. Say we want a balance of a hundred pounds added. That brings them directly to the checkout. I can add in all their details, confirm. Place order. Perfect. So that's what all went through there. And we'll go back to my wallet to see those that new transaction. So uh, wallet credit through purchase and then the purchase uh, ID or the uh, order ID. And then it shows the hundred pounds. So this shows my balance of 261. Now, what happens if we want to then obviously buy some tickets? Go to competition. So you add five tickets, view the basket. So you can say this is a previous video if you want. To. I think it might be the one before this or two before this, um, where it shows you how to get a bulk discount if you add more than uh, three or four or five uh, items to your cart. So proceed to checkout. Now you'll see here, uh, it gives you the option to pay with your current balance. Uh, and then you can just click on place order it's as simple as that it deducts it, it deducts it from their cart um or from their wallet balance and shows as a tr transaction uh, in their my wallet section so what i'm going to show you now is if that doesn't come up on checkout go to payments and then just make sure that this wallet is enabled so there's no real settings in here that you have to look at. You can change the title and description, but just make sure the to enable the wallet and then save changes. So we'll head back and we'll check out. So this has been a 12 pound uh, total order. Very good, everything's went through fine. I got all my ticket numbers. And if I go back to my wallet, you'll then see, uh, if I go, transactions oh we're kind of already in transactions but you can kind of see here for your order payment that's went through and then the cash back for that order is 1.20 which is i think a really enticing way to get people back in and repeat customers and, re and repeat customers are how you make money you don't make money just having one great competition you know say you make 10 grand brilliant but all you have to do is do loads of small competitions over a year and you're going to make so much more money and it gets easier as you go the longer you get stay in it the more customers you have uh, and the more people you might have cash back through their wallet where they want to spend it uh, and because we unchecked the bit where they can only purchase once they have a balance you know so they don't actually they can't spend on their wallet and also on their debit card. It means that they have to build this up so they can't just get a discount after every order. So I would say that's the best way to do it. Now, I think that might be the long... Actually, no, one more thing. 
if we go back to the admin section and go to Terra Wallet, you'll see if you click in here, you'll have a list of all the users that have credit and might not have credit at all. So if you need to search for a user and see how much credit they have or, you know, any transaction history that they might be querying, you can go in here, you can press the wee I button on that person and you can see a full list of credit and debit. Now, credit means that you've given them money. There's been money added to their account. And debit means the money taken away from their account. So debit out, credit in. Um, so that gives you a full list of all their uh, transactions and then their current wallet balance. So we'll actually head back once more. And there's another thing you can do, which is click on here which is the wee cog, and say you have a user that you want to give money to. Maybe you've done a social media uh, marketing campaign where you're giving away £100 or you're giving away whatever. You can go in here, click on, click on the amount. So if you want to give this person £100 or whatever it is, maybe it's just 50 You want to click credit. And then the reason for that credit. So so social media comp win. Remember, credit means that you give them money. Debit means you take them, take it away. So if you save changes, this person's now going to have 300. Now, if I go back to my account, they're going to see this in my transactions. So social media comp win with an extra 50. Great. So that means that you don't, you, you're not out of, you know, physical or liquid money that you have to give free 50 quid away. You can give it inside credit. They have to use it with you. They're not off buying you know, a pizza with it. I was mentioning actually at the start of this video about the report section. So if I go to reports, you'll see that people topping up, um, people topping up doesn't show straight away on your account. But what does show is when they use the money. So you'll see here, if I just do today. So I done that 12 pound um check out and you'll see total sales today is 12 pounds but if we go into the order section you'll see that we also had a hundred pounds go in now that means that we only account for the money that is spent because realistically this money is still theirs and it's just you're just keeping it until they use it on your product now if you do want to see a complete total of all uh today's sales and all the rest of it, if you go down the left hand side and you hit products just under analytics, you'll see now net sales of 112. So that's how you kind of differentiate the two, but you can kind of see where it can get a bit confusing if you have, you think, oh, I've sold 100 quid today, but really you've just debited money into this into your account. It's not a sale until they use it. Um, so hopefully that clears up that section of things. Any questions again? Leave them in the description and I'll try and get back to you. Or not in the description, in the comments section. All right. Cheers, guys. Bye.